Core cavity construction with two products, complete with pin holes, housing holes, sprue hole, and runners. The distance between products is 25 millimeters. The distance from the edge of the product to the right plane here is 50 millimeters. Show all parts. Move body. Choose all bodies to move. Then move the bodies along the x-axis by 62.5 millimeters. OK. Click right plane then select mirror. Click bodies to mirror. OK. Combine the core and cavity plate. Make a bushing hole from the center line of the hole to the edge of the mold with a distance of 25 millimeters. You can create auxiliary lines with the offset sketch command. Then select the hole wizard, legacy holes, counter board drilled, set bushing hole diameter at 30 millimeters, counter board diameter at 36 millimeters, counter board depth at 9 millimeters. Through all. Selected bodies. Select on all four corners. Reverse. OK. In the same way, select the whole wizard. Legacy holes. Counter board drilled. Set the pin hole diameter at 20 millimeters. Counter board diameter at 26 millimeters. Counter board depth at 6 millimeters. Through all, selected bodies, 3D sketch, click on surface. Then use add relations. Along line for the four pin holes symmetrical to the bushing holes underneath. position on the surface. X and Z coordinates at 0 millimeters. OK. a 
runner gate with the sweep cut command. First, we create a path line. With a distance of 2.5 millimeters to the edge of the product. Exit sketch, select sweep cut, circular profiles, set diameter at 7 millimeters. OK. Set the fillet radius at 3.5 millimeters at the ends. OK. Then make a small gate to penetrate the product with the sweep cut command. Circular profiles. Set diameter at 2 millimeters. OK. Finish. Thanks for watching.